Hey guys, I'm Craig and welcome to a Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial. Today's topic is movement and this will be the first part of a two-part series. Today we're going to cover computing distance moved in a game frame. We're going to connect it to time rather than the game frame itself. This is important. We're going to figure out how to take keyboard input and turn it into a direction. And then we're going to take that direction and that speed that we computed and actually move. The second part of the series will be a more advanced technique designed to make your movement much smoother around walls. And we'll also learn how to handle collisions. That'll be part two. So let's jump into part one here. First thing you'll need will be sprites. So very simple, I just made a player sprite, it's a circle, and a wall here, just a, a square. Um, and we'll need them both to be objects. And you can see I've set the player up as an object already. This is just so we kind of have a framework to work through as we go. Um, but we will need a wall object still. So we can go ahead and create that object wall and give it the sprite. Um, and this object's very simple. The only thing we need to do is check that it's solid. Um, but we'll actually come back to that in the second video. So let's close this. So just make sure it's solid. We'll close that. Um, we'll come back to our player. So in our player object here, um, we've created a step event and it's gonna handle movement. Now, most of you probably know, but the step event runs uh, every frame of the game. So Game Maker Studio 2 defaults this to 60 times a second. So this, this code right here is gonna run 60 times a second. So the first thing we wanna do is figure out how far should we move every time this code runs. And that's actually gonna start with knowing how far we want to move per second. So let's just go ahead and spitball a number. We'll say um, var pixels per second is equal to 100. Okay, so we know every one second we want our character to go 100 pixels if you're holding a key down. This particular frame has not taken a second to execute. It's taken some, you know, 60th of a second to execute. But we can actually get that time using a built-in variable called delta time. And now delta time is reported in millionths of a second. So if we want to figure out how many seconds passed in this frame, we'll make another variable here of our um, time passed. It's going to be equal to delta time divided by a million. Let's see if we can get enough zeros here. 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, million. Perfect. So that's how, how much time has passed. And so to figure out exactly how many pixels we should move in this frame, that'll be our last variable here, pixels this frame, we'll compute pixels per second, uh, we'll multiply that by time passed. And that is how many pixels we should go this frame. So the next thing we need to do is handle keyboard input from the player. I have a way I like to do this, it only takes two lines, but it basically looks like this. I'll write it and then I'll explain it. So var x add, or x direction is really what it is. It's really marking a direction. Um, maybe I'll, I'll call it that to be more accurate. So like x direction is equal to keyboard check board d minus a keyboard check for board a. Now some of you might have seen this before. Um, the idea here is in Game Maker, when you add to your x value, you go right. When you subtract from your x value, you go left. Uh, a keyboard check returns one if the key's being pressed and returns zero if it's not being pressed. So the way this works out is if you're pressing D, x direction is one, positive. You wanna go to the right. If you're only pressing A, you're subtracting it, so this will be zero. Subtract one, it's minus one, you're going to the left. If they're both being pressed or neither is being pressed, it's zero, so you won't move in the x direction at all. Um, we can just go ahead and copy this line and do the same thing for our y direction, except for y, the positive direction is down, so s and up w. So now we have some nice WASD input. So the next thing we need to do is check that we're actually moving somewhere. Um, I guess there's ways you could write this where you don't need to do the check. It would just work out with the math. Um, the way that I want to do it, it's probably important that we check because we could still end up with some angle and some speed here. Um, and we don't want to move if these values are actually zero. So we'll just we'll check to be safe. So if x dir does not equal zero, 
or y dear does not equal zero. We want to move. Um, and this is pretty simple. If they're both zero, you're not going anywhere. So don't bother doing the movement code. Um, but if one of them is not zero, or both of them are not zero, then we want to compute the actual angle, x dear, y dear. What, what is that in degrees from zero to 360? And we'll need that for the functions we're gonna use to compute the actual movement. So this is pretty easy to figure out. Um, it's one function in GameMaker, point direction. And the point direction we're computing is actually the angle of that vector. So x dear and y dear put together is a vector. And you can kind of picture the default initial sort of vector is zero one, just something pointing to the right. That is zero degrees in GameMaker, just facing to the right. Our x dear y dear is gonna be some other point. It's either like one zero, which is straight up, or one one, which is here, or negative one one, which is over here. You know, somewhere is along this circle. And when we say point direction from here, we're getting that angle in degrees. So point direction from zero zero, the origin of the graph, to x dear y dear, like so. So now we have a direction. Uh, and to actually go ahead and put it all together and move, we're gonna use this other two functions that go together called length dear x and length dear y. And that looks like this. So x, the variable storing our position in the x direction, we're going to add length dear x, and that takes a length and a direction. So our length is actually just our speed, our, our pixels of this frame. Combined with dear. And for y, it is length dear y, pixels of this frame, and dear. And these functions are nice because they work out how much you need in both the x and the y direction to go in the direction you want to go in and to move the number of pixels you say you want to move. When you're adding or subtracting from y directly, just like multiplying x dear y dear by some speed, um, that'll get you where you're going, but you run into this issue where diagonal movement is always quicker. And maybe you've encountered this, maybe you've read about it, but uh, so using length dear x and length dear y fixes that for you. It just does the math for you. So it's very nice. Um, so this simple code right here should do everything we want it to do. And if we jump into a room, which new projects in GameMaker Studio 2 just come with a default room, we throw a little guy in there, maybe we throw some walls in there just for, you know, kicks, even though they don't do anything at this point. <laughs> we'll just, you know, decorate the place a little bit. Um, we can go ahead and play, and we should see our guy move around using WASD. And you can see we're, we're moving at a nice constant 100 pixels per second, although we fade right through our walls. But we'll tackle that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the next one to see how to do collisions and smooth out your movement.